the Americans think that China wants to displace them as top dog in the world. And because of that, it's trying to contain China, even pull it down, if possible. And my fear is it may exhaust itself in the process, and I don't think it will succeed. You take this latest move to impose 100% tax on EVs. I mean, the Qing Dynasty did that right in the 19th century. And the result was the world passed it by, and within a few decades, its position plummeted in the world. That's the danger of shutting out the world. The Europeans can't do it, not the Germans, so they said, no, we will rise to the challenge of China. And whether it's Mercedes-Benz or BMW, these are very solid organizations, and I think they will put up a stiff resistance and, and in some ways will remain better than the Chinese. But if you say, no, hide behind the walls, 100% tariff, you become very weak. But this is the phase Americans are going through. Is China in trouble? I don't think so. I mean, look at the factories, look at the EVs. Look at how terrified the Europeans are, accusing China of having overcapacity. I mean, how can you blame China for overcapacity when you have, when you're taking liberties with yourself, having long summers and working short hours, and you say, no, 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 you are working too hard. <laughs> there are consequences. And if families take liberties with their children or with themselves, there are consequences.